let me get my little self situated so that we can have some fun today because I was all mopey and last night, you know, I'm like, oh my God, I was mopey about my nails. Like I really need my nails done. I was mopey about the coronavirus. I was mopey about being by myself. Um, I was mopey about my breaking up with my boyfriend. I like had a thousand things to be mopey about. Have you noticed that like, when you're going through the stupid coronavirus and you're by yourself, you have nothing but time to think. And so I'm tired of thinking. Guess what I got though? Look at this wig. I show, I will show you this wig. I started on my brows already. But I really like this wig because it has, look what it came with. Wait till I show you, you're gonna be crazy envious. Look at this. Okay, I'm not gonna wear this, my choker. I have a different choker I'm wearing today. Look at this. It's like a ponytail holder, okay? So I gotta figure out how to do this wig. You see this one? This one's gorgeous, right? So I was looking at it, it's got baby hair. See the little baby hairs in the front. But it also has where I can put it up like in a ponytail. I use this and I put it up in a ponytail, which of course you already know I don't know how to do that. And I need to brush it out because I was already playing with it and it was super, got super fluffy, okay? And today, I was thinking about it. What I wanted to talk about is, this is my wig brush. When you have wigs, you have a, need a special kind of brush. Today, what I want to talk about, though, is, you know, we're always looking at, I used to do this all the time. Like, people have, you see them, and they have these great big lashes, and then I go to do my lashes and be like, why are my lashes so flipping small and everybody else's lashes so big, and how do they get them that big, you know? So, today we'll talk about how to get big lashes, okay? And we gotta do, I have a new wig, so we're going to do my new wig, and I might do some more cutting on, it's a lace front, so I might do some more cutting on the lace front to make sure that it's perfect, you know? Um, I don't sell wigs. You know I have, um, I have alopecia, and I went through a stage, and I'm actually still going through the stage where my hair fell out. So I was really ashamed of it for a while, and then I went on this kick where I like to recognize the fact that my um, hair is not what makes me beautiful. The woman that I am makes me beautiful, who I am inside and all of that. So I always, you guys know I love to get on. I love to, and why is this thing up so high? All right, I'm about to start playing with this. So if it falls or something crazy happens, then oh well. All right, anyways, so it's not my hair that defines me or makes me beautiful. I'm just me. So there, and it's Saturday, oh my God. I like totally last night, drank way too many White Claws by myself, watching movies. Do you know, I don't like this whole by myself because I'm like a big time people person and I like to be around a lot of people. But we gotta get big lashes today. I think we'll go with big sexy lashes today. And I think that we're gonna go with a this honey brown. Look at this color again, it is so gorgeous. This is like a honey brown, so I wanna wear that one today. Um, I want to get these brows done. You can tell I started my brows already. I've already done my moisturizer and my face really needed it on my face. I wanna wear eyeshadow today too. Can we do eyeshadow and eyeliner today? I broke my nail, which I'm like, um, oh my goodness, I broke my nail. It's bad, it's just bad. Anyways, let me grab my, um, let me grab my stuff and get moving. First, you know we have to do our, we have to do this. And I gotta do, um, you know I'm gonna get into palette. I'm in palette. Um, what palette am I gonna come out of? Cause I gotta, you know my kids stole my flipping, my, my eyebrow palette. So now we gotta get in palette seven. I told you when, if you don't have an eyebrow palette, we can get in palette seven and do our eyebrows and get them just as sexy as we would if we had our normal eyebrow palette. So we're gonna see how to do that today. Um, and I'm just doing it as a backup because I showed you yesterday and um, and I really am excited because I know that you picked it up. You know I use a tiny brush. I cannot stand to use a large brush on my eyebrows because I like my eyebrows to look a certain way. I'm so detailed about them. I'm very detailed about my makeup. You know that. So right now, you know that I'm going to come through and fill in them. I'm going to fill in with that darker color from the back. And you know what? If I wasn't wearing... Uh, red wig, I could, um, it's like a honey red. Anyways, I would wear a, like a jet black to fill in from the back so that um, 
the color is good. And then from the front, I'm gonna do, I'm also gonna do the front and I'm gonna fill in and put those because there's severe damage in this eyebrow. Do not have siblings, oh my God. Do not be raised on a farm, oh my God. I've got so many scars from being raised on a farm, it's ridiculous. So I'm just filling this in and getting that nice dark chocolate color that I like. Do not look at my nails. You guys know I'm nail, a nail fanatic, right? You know I'm always in the salon. And with this coronavirus, I cannot even go to the salon which is driving me up the wall. And I am like, that's okay, I'll be fine. I'm like giving myself pep talks, right? You ever give yourself pep talks where you're like, oh my God, I'm gonna be fine. I don't feel fine. I need to go to the salon. Like I need, uh, I need to go to get waxed. I need to go to the salon. I need everything. I need the works. I'm gonna be the woman that when the salons, when the nail salons opened up, I'm gonna be standing right outside the nail salons like, okay, I'm ready, let's do this. So, the first thing we need to do is concealer. I have to get rid of these dark circles. You know that this dark circles are hereditary. I tell you guys all my secrets. Okay, so my first secret is my I have really bad dark circles. They're hereditary. They came from my mom's side of the family. My second secret. My dad was biracial, so I have all these freckles. Oh my gosh, I have so many freckles because his mom was Indian and his dad was black. So, I have so many freckles. He was just filled with freckles. Okay, so I have to do something to always cover them up. My last secret, don't tell anybody, I have alopecia. Shh, I have no hair. Okay, so those are my three secrets. Don't tell anybody, okay? All right, let me see. I cannot tell a lie. Today, I did sleep super late, and I am really drinking coffee. Sometimes, like my one friend was like, are you really drinking coffee? Yes, I'm a coffee fanatic. This is stunning. This is our mattifying primer. You know I'm not going to do anything with my face until I put primer on. So let's get our primer on and get cracking because I cannot have, even if I'm by myself, is this crazy or what? Okay, so I'm a certain kind of girl. Like even when I'm by myself, I still wear all my makeup. Is that bad? I don't know. I'm just like that. I can't help it. I like to be beautiful. I like to look pretty. I like pretty things. Um, and you know what? Speaking of which, I'm remodeling in my bedroom. And I got this new bed, and I think it's amazing, and it's got all this bling in it. I'm just thinking about pretty things. So I'm trying to figure out what kind of furniture I'm going to put in my bedroom. And I took a picture of my group of my bed and what it looks like now, but I got to find things that go match my bed. If you guys are not members of my group, just ask for um, permission. or I'll, You know what? I'll post the link to my personal group because I have a personal group here on Facebook that I only let my intimate um, people in. Um, and share stuff about myself. So if you'd like to be a part of my group, let me know. Now, what am I doing today? Today, I really wanna do some serious concealer because I told you I had my little white cloth situation last night where I was sitting up watching, do you like Chicago PD? I adore Chicago PD. So I was binge watching Chicago PD and, <laughs> I know, right, Chris? I was binge watching Chicago PD and drinking White Claws and being mopey because I broke up with my boyfriend. And I was doing this all at the same time. So this morning when I woke up, my head felt like I was binge watching Chicago PD and drinking White Claws. So I went back to bed. I was a little bit lazy today. And I love Saturdays because I actually get the opportunity to do that. So I went back to bed. So I'm just getting up to get my face on and try and get beautiful for you guys. And with you guys, what are you guys doing today? I wish that we could go out. Like I looked out. These, there's all these people walking in the park. And I was like, you know, because I have a great big walkway. People walk by the trail and everything all the time. And I'm like, I'm not walking anywhere. I'm so sick of nature right now. Because I like, I feel like I love nature. Can I be honest? I do love nature. I love to go for walks. I love to do all of that. I just want to go to the mall. Is that so bad? I just want to go get my nails done. I just want to go to the salon. I'm so sick of nature right now. I'm angry because we're locked inside and we don't get to have any fun. So it's crazy. Okay, are you guys going to help me get rid of these circles? Tell me. Oh, give me comments. What kind of things are you dealing with with your skin and that you don't know how to get rid of? Let me see. While we're doing that, I better go over the top of my eyebrows because I totally do want my eyebrows to be on point even though I'm the only one. And actually, I'm not the only one that's going to be looking at them because I'm going to do a live today on my regular Facebook page, which I don't usually do it anymore. But I have a new 
um, I have a new package in that I want people to see. So I, I decided I do a live on my Facebook page. Okay. So we're just going across the top um, and solidifying our eyebrows and pulling that color out. Okay. Now, let me see. I have this is little bitty tiny brush. You know, um, my brows are I'm like serious about my brows. So I use small brushes anytime I'm doing brow work. Let me finish filling this in dark. You know that. You know I'm not going to use a big brush under my brows because I want it to be gorgeous. I want my eyebrows. You know how I am. When I get my finished look, um, I like it to be a certain way. And you can't if you use big bulky things, okay? So let me know if you need brushes because this, this month our brushes are crazy cheap. You know what I mean? The price is amazing on them right now. Okay, so I'm pulling this color down, and as I pull it down, it gets rid of all that darkness that's on my, um, that hereditary darkness, and it gets rid of every drop of it, okay? I'm coming right around my, the bottom of my eye, because what? I have hereditary dark circles. I look like a raccoon before I put my makeup on. I'm sorry. At first, you know what? My mom, this is the, it's not a funny story, but... When I was a little girl, um, dark circles run in my family. I said, Mom, you're so pretty. You look like a raccoon. Well, she was like, if you don't get away from me, you know, and obviously she didn't take that as a compliment. But I meant it as a compliment. But I didn't realize that really our eyes around, we have such hereditary dark circles. And um, I didn't also realize that as I grew older, I was going to look like a raccoon too. That's not fair. Ah! You know what? There's a lot of things that you never know as you grow older that you learn that's going to happen to you. As a woman, I'm just saying, and I'm sure it's the same with men, but as a woman, you learn so much about how your body's going to change and everything as you go older, as you go through it. But when you're younger, you think, okay, it's going to be perfect and everything forever. It's not the case. Okay, so I want you to check out this concealer. It's amazing. Here's my concealer. Here's without concealer, okay? This is how it looks with the concealer on, and this is how it looks without the concealer on. So we're going to, um, I'm just going to get everything. We're going to go ahead on, and we're going to go through. Today's Saturday. I, what is that? Remember that one show Friday? You are, I don't have no job. I don't have nothing to go to or nothing, so I'm not rushing today. So I'm going to sit down, and I'm going to go through all the steps of what I do to get my makeup in place on a Saturday. And I don't know if I feel like today... I don't know if I feel like eyeshadow, so we'll play it by ear. If I feel like eyeshadow, we'll do we'll do eyeshadow. I know that today I want to wear eyeliner. So we definitely are going to do eyeliner today. Um, we're going to do it on our water lines up top, our water line down low, and we're going to do a liquid across, okay? So stay tuned for that because I want you guys to learn um, how to do your eyeliner, and I want you to have it really good. I also know, want you to know that um, for our products, please don't think you can get like, I was thinking about the eyeliner, right? Because what I did is I watched my upline do eyeliner, right? And I said to myself, self, I said, because this is the way I am. I come up with these bright ideals sometimes, right? So I'm like, oh, I can do that eyeliner and I can just get a cheap brand eyeliner to do it with the same thing. You cannot get a cheap brand eyeliner and get the same effect with my eyeliner. So if you, that I do with the eyeliner, because I'm going to show you how to do your liquid eyeliner. For those of you that have been out there and been like, okay, I've always wanted to learn how to do a liquid eyeliner, so please show me, Baina. I have people that say that. So I'm going to show you how to do your liquid eyeliner, but I'm going to warn you, you're going to want to get my eyeliner because let me show you this. And I'm honest. You know I'm transparent. This is all the different eyeliners I have. So if there's an eyeliner out there, I've tried it. And I know whether you can get that look with different eyeliners or not. And um, honestly, you can't. So I use my Dip and Draw or I use another brand of unique eyeliner that just gives you an amazing look. Okay. All right. Now we're getting, we're almost to the point where we get to, I love, holy moly. Did you know stick foundation is the gift that keeps on giving? So I didn't know that stick foundation was like the gift that keeps on giving. Um, what I found out is it does such an amazing look on your face that you have got to get some of it. Oh my God. It is amazing. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do, and I wonder if yesterday I went really dark with my colors on my face and I don't think I'm going to do that today. I think I'm going to go Charmeuse. Um, and I think I'm going to go, 
I'm going to do the Charmeuse, which is the same color as my concealer. And I'm going to do, and I'm blending it. I have a brush for blending. I have a Charmeuse color that I'm going to use for my stick foundation. And we're going to start going in. And I have a new wig that we're going to try today. And if you're just joining, I want to show you. Look at this. Isn't this one pretty? And it's really long. I love this one. And guess what? I was saying it's got this thing. It goes back, but it also has a thing where I can put it up in a ponytail, which I think is really kind of nice. It's a lace front, so I can put it in a ponytail and stuff too. So I'm excited about that. I don't know if I'm going to wear a ponytail because I haven't in so many flipping years, but we'll see. Okay, so we'll stay tuned because you know how I am. I'm like wishy-washy. Some days I'm like, oh, I feel like doing this. And other days I'm like, we'll just play it by ear and do whatever we feel like as we go along. Now, let's get some foundation on our face because I'm looking very non-foundation-y. And let's get some more coffee because I just woke up. And you know how I am when I just wake up. It's not cute. So usually this is like at 6 o'clock in the morning. But because I... um. It's Saturday. I just slept in. I never get a chance to sleep, sleep in. And this last week has been crazy busy. I had so many projects at work. So I, I am happy. I got all the projects I was telling you guys about done. But it was crazy busy this week. Okay. This is my favorite. This is my Kabuki brush. I love it. I love it. If you guys don't have one of these brushes, you're going to want one. And I waited forever to get one and held out. And I tried every brush under the sun. I'm telling you, you guys are just, we're just alike. Like, I am so funny. I'm like this. I'm like, oh, good morning or good, yes, yeah, morning for me, Mary. I did just wake up. I'm such a slug. Anyways, so let me tell you what happened. Every time I see a project, product on Unique, I'm like this. I wonder if I can get that for a different price or a better price. Or what's the product and blah 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 so I went and found this brush and I found it from different brands guess what when I got this brush this brush is a dream it's an absolute dream that I don't have and let me tell you how many makeup brushes I have I have a lot of makeup brushes none of them as are as good as this one and as soon as I tried it I was like I'm in love I'm keeping this forever I'm using it forever and you know how I am like fanatical I brought three of the same brush because I don't ever want to it to go away okay or me to use it so much that I don't have it anymore now let's rock out and today the only foundation I'm using I'm showcasing is stick foundations right because you know foundations are on sale so this is my charmeuse so I'm gonna go through and you don't need a ton of this I just like a ton of it okay um, I'm gonna just give myself some color with charmeuse I'm going across my forehead down my nose okay under my chin. I don't have my choker on yet. When I get done doing this, I can put my choker on because I'm wearing a choker today because it's Saturday, Saturday, Saturday. So we can have fun Saturday. We don't have to look super professional. Okay. So here's my Kabuki brush. Watch this. This thing colors in, uh, fills in. Your look is just so nice with this brush. It just, look at how it just smooths everything in so perfectly. Oh my God. I love this brush. It is like heaven. How are you doing this morning, Miss Mary? Mary's my big sister, you guys. Say hi to Mary. If Y'all didn't say hi to me yet. Oh, my gosh. Y'all haven't said hi. You haven't even told me who's watching. I know Chris was watching. Are you still watching, Chris? Look at that. And it's a combination of the sick foundation and the brush. This um, brush that you use, it just gives you such a good, good, um, it just fills in so nicely. And I cannot wait to wear this new wig that I got that I keep showing you guys. And I keep showing you it because I'm excited about it. It is just the cat's meow. Remember when we were, um, what generation used to say the cat's meow? Anyways, I can't remember. Okay. So, look at that. Um, look at how good the color is and everything when you do that stick foundation. Now, um, one, I do want to do, I always do this. Let me see what I'm going to be doing. I do want to wear my choker today. And because I'm not going to do, I've already colored my neck. Because you know I cannot stand that helmet look. Hi, beautiful. Um, I'm going to put my choker on now. Because I have, isn't this so cute? So cute. And look at this. I'm about to scream. Okay, don't laugh at me. I think I have hairs here. So I'm cutting them off. If they're there, yep, I was right. There was hair there. You can always tell if there's hair there because your makeup just does not sit right. Even when you put, okay, so the hair is gone. I repeat, the hair has left the building. 
Now, you know, um, I do want to do a little bit of contouring. And I'm trying to think, Saturday, it's Saturday. Do we need to contour today? Give me a shout out. Should we contour or not? Okay, I'll give you guys time to think about it while I'm doing And while you're thinking about it, I'll go out of my um, order and I'll do my um, water lines. How about that? But you got to respond, okay, should I contour or not? Look, here's my, that's my, um, my, it's my favorite eyeliner. It gives you a nice, oh my God, such a nice chocolate black, or a nice black line. So we're going to do our water line because I promised you today, I said it's Saturday. We can have deep smoky eyes on Saturday because we're not going to work. You don't want to go to work with deep smoky, look at that line. You don't want to go to work with deep smoky lines. They're going to be like, what is your deal, man? It's not nighttime and it's not professional, okay? But if I'm at home and even like normally I would be like, hopefully would have a date or something Saturday night and I want my eyes to look sexy. So I'd use my deep, deep dark um, lines. So we're going to do our water lines while you guys tell, I wait, I'm waiting to hear from you because I want to know whether I should do contouring or not. And you know what? If I don't hear from you, you know I just will do contouring because I love, you know I love to contour and with the stick foundation, it is so easy. Okay, now, you know I also, I'm going to show you another trick. Okay, I'm going to lift up my eyelid and I'm going to do my top water line and then I'm going to do liquid eyeliner so they all attach. Okay, so let's go for it. You just lift it up my like this, like so. Okay. Do you see that? And I just lifted it up and did it. And I want to do it one more time because I want it to be nice and chocolate, dark, okay? You see that? I'm going to do on the other side. There we go. Now, I'm going to show you another trick because I do not like to have... Have you ever seen people and they have black up under their eye? I cannot stand to have that black up under my eye unless that's the look I'm going for today. So I'm getting my tiny brush and my concealer and I'm coming right up under my line, my water line and cleaning it up. Because I only want that dark where I put the dark at. Yeah, I only want that dark where I put the dark at. Yes, you know I'm going to contour, right? Um, okay, here we go. See that? And it just cleans it up. I like my makeup to be clean. What I mean by that is, I like, like, don't let your lines be sloppy, okay? Um, let your lines just be nice and clean and crisp so you know, okay, this is exactly what I was doing, okay? I want my, I still, to me, I can see the, um, the dark circles up under my eyes. So I'll come in like this, and I haven't even begun to start, I'm about to come through now and do my light right up under my eyes and my dark. So my cheekbones just pop. And I'm glad I'm putting on my makeup because I was like, oh my gosh, I was scary this morning. Do not sit up late watching Chicago PD and drinking White Claw because if you do, when you wake up in the morning, you're going to look a little scary. Okay. Let me see. This is one of my favorite light ones to go with, Chalice. I go with Chalice or Khaki. Those are my two favorite. Another one that's really good that I can go with that is my, I forget the name of this color, but I can use my concealer. And we should try that today. Let's use um, a lighter concealer and see what we think about that up under our eye. Because we're doing light today. Remember I promised? I said, let's go. Oh, I promised I was going to do stick foundation. So I can't do the concealer. We'll use chalice so you get to see that. Okay, here we go. Let's do it. Cheekbones. We want big, bold cheekbones, right? We start here. We don't need a ton. And I'm going to tell you how to exactly how to work that out so your cheekbones just pop, right? We got our, down our nose. Look, we're going straight down our nose with this. And today, I might leave them both. I'm going to put them both on so you can see. Okay. There we go for that. I do like right here, right here, 
and a diamond. Yay. Now, we want a dark color, don't we? Because you always, you never highlight without contouring. So watch really quickly. Here, 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 here. Okay, I do that on purpose so you guys can see exactly where I put my lines, okay, when I'm contouring. So I don't ever want to be mysterious. There's another thing I want you to know. I use two different brushes when I'm contouring. Um, I actually use three, all right? This is my one to blend my light. This is my one to blend my dark. And this is my one to blend the tiny spaces, okay? Light is silver, dark is bronze, and the tiny one... I already know. So let's get the blending. And you know what? Today, too, I'm going to do something different. I want to use my blending buds because a lot of times I'll use my um, I'll use my brushes. And we don't have a lot of brushes. But blending buds are dirt cheap. So you can have blending buds and you can blend it with that. And I think I have some new ones. So you guys will have to, will you, is it okay if you wait for one second? Let me see. Mm -mm. I do have new ones. Okay. Ta-da! So let's get some blending buds out. Let's do blending buds today. Because usually I use my brushes, all right? Now, this is what I say. Just like the brushes, you need two different, okay? So the black would be for my darker color. The pink would be for my lighter color. And I know anytime I have, you, I'm using a darker color, I always use... Uh, or for my darker colors, I use the darkest color and the lightest color for my lighter ones. And that's like my color code or my little cheat sheet for myself so that I remember, okay? Let me just spray these. I'm going to spray these down a little bit and we'll do it, okay? Here we go. And you see, just blending it in that space. Okay? Okay. Now, I'm going to go over to the other side and do the same thing. These are so easy. A lot of times when I first started, I used blending buds instead of brushes. But to me, now the brushes are easy too. But if you're just starting out, just do the blending buds. It's easier, okay? And I just spray them. Like I have a rose water that I spray them with. And I go through and just blend with them, okay? So we're blending and blending, and I need more coffee, you guys. And guess what? I have this new box. It's my Hello Gorgeous box. And so I'm going to be on my main page. If you don't haven't added me as a friend, definitely add me as a friend because I do some things just on my main page. If you haven't joined my group, join my group because I do some things just in my group, okay? Um, so today on my main page, I'm going to be showcasing the Hello Gorgeous beauty box. And you guys are going to want to get your hands on that. So make sure you check that out. All right, I'm still blending. Um, I'm going to blend with at the top. So I'm going over my forehead and I'm being careful not to get into my eyebrows. Sometimes if you get people get, they, we spend so much time getting our eyebrows perfect, right? So sometimes I've seen people, they're doing their, they do their eyebrows perfect. And then they're, um, and I've done this before too. Okay. I'm people. I'll admit it. Sometimes I've done my eyebrows perfectly and then I get sloppy with my blending and then I have to redo my eyebrows because my eyebrows don't even look the way I want them to because I was sloppy with my blending. That's what I like about the blending buds, that you can do them, make sure you do them, take your time and it's going to give you the look that you want and it won't interfere with your eyebrows or anything. Okay, so those were my light colors. Let's go in with my dark colors. And remember what I said with dark colors. Use your darker blending bud for dark. And if you start doing this, you won't ever forget it, and it'll just be natural. So let me spray that, and we'll do our dark, okay? Okay, here we go. Maybe. Mm-mm-mm. And I'm bringing that right alongside that light line because I want it to really um, showcase that, that strip right across the top of my nose, right down the middle, because why? I want my lips to look big and voluptuous when I get done, okay? I want them to be big and sexy. Is it raining? Anyway, 
Tell me, give me a shout out too and tell me where you're watching from. Now I'm blending that darker one at the top of my forehead and that's good. When I put on my wig, it'll showcase that, but it'll be blunt. And, and I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna use a brush soon because I gotta set all of this and then we'll do some um, cool eyeliner stuff, okay? Two finger rule, always two fingers from your face because if it doesn't, it's gonna look like you have a beard. And I'm just saying that because I don't want to admit, but I may have looked like I had a beard once or twice. All right, so now I'm going to get, this is one of my favorite brushes and I love, love, love to do this with the powder. And I love, this is one of my favorite brushes. I love to use it. So I'm just gonna go across the top a little bit and do a little bit of blending like that. All right, now let's do something with these eyes today. I do need to set my makeup, but I'm not gonna set it yet because I wanna do eyeshadow, but I'm trying to decide what eyeshadow I wanna do today. I'm not sure what eyeshadow I wanna do today. This is two, this is my favorite. I do a lot of stuff out of two. Honestly, number two is my favorite. I love this one. I rocked that one yesterday. This one I like as well. I rocked that one the other day. I'm trying to think one I haven't done in a while. Let me look at six, I did six. Let's do four. I haven't done four in a while. So let's do palette four. Ta-da, palette four. Hmm. How should we do palette four today? I'm doing palette four. Totally, it's a palette four kind of day. All right, I'm gonna use, I've already decided, I'm gonna use, don't look at my broken fingernail, it's the coronavirus, because if I was at, I wouldn't have to do this. Okay, blue, light blue, this one, and this one. I really like those, and that's the colors we're gonna use today. Okay, so let's get in, and first let's get our crevice done, because you know you gotta get into your crevice and put your um, crevice color in, okay? And I don't like my crevice color to go everywhere. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna put a color right into our crevice, this darkest color right here, we're gonna put it right into our crevice. Then this lighter one, we're gonna go over the top of our crevice with the lighter one. Then in the middle, we're gonna use this gray. And then in the corner, um, we're going to come all the way across in the corner with this one, okay? Are we ready? All right, let's do it. Right in the crevice. That's the only spot we're putting that dark, dark one is right in the crevice, okay? And I do like it already. Oh, I like it. And we need to, I cannot stand, this is my pet peeve, you guys already know it. I like my, to clean my brushes off when I go, as I go with my eyeshadow, okay? So I'm cleaning as I go. And now let me put a lighter one. I want that lighter one. I want it to go over the top. It's a blue, I have it over the top. And I'm just barely dotting it in right there. Cause I like it. And I got, I'm gonna have to do some blending. You know that, right? There's over the top. That blue is really deep and dark and I like it like that, okay? Okay, now I want to put that gray in there, and I might pop a different color in there too, but we'll see. Okay, that gray, here we go. So the gray is going in now and lightening that whole look up. See that? That's that lovely gray. We're putting that in there and lightening it up some as we go. But I don't mind because today is Saturday, so I can be as deep and dark and mysterious as I want because it's Saturday, right? Now, I think I'm gonna use, it's a called Tender. Watch. Right there, I'm using Tender and lightening that corner up. And then I'm gonna put a pop of gold
and I'm pulling that tender across and I'm gonna use it to blend. And I'm about to get my fluffy crease brush. Oh, I like that. I'm gonna get my fluffy crease brush and begin to blend it. Mm, sexy. And this one, let me show you the one I used that I didn't tell you I was gonna use. I used this tender right here and I'm gonna use that one right there when I get done blending everything to add up a color, okay? Here's my fluffy crease brush. You guys have got to have one of these brushes. It's the cat's meow. I'm just blending it a little bit, blending it a little bit so we get a consistent look. Okay, good. Now, let's put our, we're gonna put our gold in there for our pop of color. And I gotta get my, you know I'm gonna use the tiniest brush I own to put that gold in there because I cannot stand it to be, um, this is my super tiny one that I use. I don't like it. Yesterday I used that for my silver. This is the brush that I use to put my pops of color in, okay? And I'm gonna put the gold, I'm gonna put it right here in the corner and I'm gonna go right up under that corner with it too, okay? And it's called Secretive, okay? Watch. And if it doesn't give a big enough pop, which right now it's not, I'm gonna get some spark out to put some more pop in there. Yeah, it's not giving a big enough pop for me, so I'm gonna have to add some glitter to that. All right, now let me get in and get glitter. These are my glitters and I use them um, to add extra pop to my eyes. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna get a small, I'm gonna use this side of the brush though because I need even smaller because that glitter, um, I don't need a ton of it, I just need a little of it, okay? So let me see. If you look, that's what it looks like when I put it on the brush and that I like. Do you like it? That I like. Okay, let me do this side and then we'll start on our eyeliner. And it's still gold, but it just adds little sparkles. See, look at it. I wish I could go to the mall today because this look is gonna be on point when I get done. All right, you see that? Okay, that's what I like. Now, this is what I use to get it. It's called Naked, Naked Cosmetics. All right, so now I promised you guys what? I promised you guys I would show you how to do your, we gotta do our liquid eyeliner because a lot of times that's where we get stumped. We are like, um, this is weird. We're like weird with our liquid eyeliner. So we gotta go through and do our liquid eyeliner and we still have to finish up our brows. Let's do, first I'm gonna set all my, my face, then we'll do, um, hold on, let me get, there's extra glitter. So I'm getting the extra glitter off because I don't like my face all glittery. Well, I'm about to set my face, then we're gonna do our, finish our brows, and then we're gonna do our eyeliner. Let's do it. Um, and I'm setting my face today with my Touch Behold powder, and I want the one that's got a lot of loose powder in it because I'm gonna set right up under my eye right now. And under my eye, I have the most makeup, so. Okay, that's up under my eye, that's all set. Now that I've got it set under my eye, I'm gonna get my other favorite brush, because remember I was showing you my other favorite brush? You guys know I have so many favorite brushes, that's ridiculous. Okay, here's my other one. And I'm still using my Touch Behold setting powder, but this one I still have, it, it's really controlled. Um, and remember today we're wearing make I'm wearing a wig today. So normally if I was not wearing a wig, I would have to do my forehead or my whole head too. Um but I'm wearing a wig. And you know what? My hair is growing back in and I'm just going to let it. Um I was going to shave it, but I didn't feel like shaving it today. Now, let's get our the rest of our eyeliner done. 
Let me grab it. I set it over here, I thought, so that I, I had it out. Here it is. I love this eyeliner, so let's do that. First, I'm going to, see this? Down. I need a tail on both sides. And that tail is too big, so I probably have to fix it up. This one's too big, so let me go in and clean it up. I'm like the cleanup crew. Remember that song, The Cleanup Lady? Hold on. I'm not using, I don't want to smudge it. I have sparkles everywhere on me. Can you believe that? Okay, hold on. I don't know why I did that one so big. It is just dumb. And I'm going to have to reset. All right. Now let me do. I love my concealer because it saves me all the time. Like when I do stuff like that, where I'm like, ah, and I'm like, ah, and then I'm like, ah, then I can fix it. I'm still concealing. You know, I'm like really big on my concealer. Now let me try it again. Because I'm, you're not the only one that has days where you try your, your eyeliner and you're like, shit, I messed it up. So here we go. That's better. You see it? We want a thin line. We don't want thick, bulky, bold. Beautiful. All right, let's go through and let's put our our liner on our lid now. You ready? We're using liquid. And this is what I love to do. I love to just set my liner in place. And I don't know what I'm going to do when I run out of this one because I'm in love with it. I like our dip and draw, but this one I adore. I really adore this one, okay? Now I'm just going to draw right out to that big line. And now that I've drawn out to that big line, what do I have to do? I have to fill in. And if you didn't good in first grade with coloring, you can do this. Hey, you guys didn't remind me to do my lash serum today. And you know I need my lashes to continue to grow, right? There we go. Let me put my, I'm gonna put my lash serum on that at last too because I want my lashes to continue to grow. And while I'm doing the other one, I'll go do my lipstick first so that. All right, let me do the other lash or eyeliner. And we need big, bold lips. What lips are we wearing today? We got crazy cute eyeshadow. We need totally sexy lips. And I think we need blush. Let me know if you need eyeliner. Now I'm going to begin to draw right out to that and we're going to color in. And there we go. We're all set. I'm doing something funny with this liner. I don't know. All right, now 
I got to put my lash serum on this lash because I want my lashes to continue to grow. There's a line there that I didn't like, so I had to get rid of it. There. And today, I'm not doing ombre lips. Sometimes I do ombre lips, but today I don't want to do ombre lips. I just want to go a nice... Um, hey, I just thought about that. Fill in a lip liner just to make these even bigger. Because remember, I put that brown, that dark brown right there. Two, it's so funny. I did not today. I did not want to. I have forgot. I keep saying instead of wearing a instead of wearing a um, I keep going. I'm, instead of wearing burgundy, I'm gonna wear a because you know I wear burgundy all the time. I wanted to wear a brown, like a neutral brown. Better. Okay. So I wanted to wear a neutral brown, but I keep forgetting. Hmm. Let me see. Let me put my shiny on and see if I can um, still use my brown. This is a shiny, it's a generic shiny. It tastes so yummy too. It's like fruit. You ever have lip gloss that just tastes so yummy? Oh, I love yummy lip gloss. Let me get my concealer. I don't usually wear lip gloss, but today I'm going to wear, I'm in a mood for lip gloss. Hmm, what color should we wear? This is like a pink clay. We still need to do our, um, I don't know if I wanna wear this color. It's so boring. Boring, boring, boring. Can I have loud lips today? Either this, okay, I'm thinking either this, or mm, I'm trying to match. I just want a little bit of loud. Is it okay to have a little bit of loud? Today I need some loud. I'm not gonna put a ton of, I just need a little. You ever just need a little bit of excitement? Oh my God, with this dumb coronavirus, I need a lot of excitement. Hmm. Where's my lip thing? I like that. Okay, now we need a nice, cute mauve. No, I'm not using mauve today. I'm being loud. Remember I said loud? I need a little bit of loud. Guess what we're using today on our cheeks? Loud. We're matching our lips on our cheeks. Here we go. So I'm just swirling. And we still need to go in and put mascara on because we want to get, remember I said, let's get some big, bold, epic lashes, right? So I'm gonna show you how to do that. All right, so let's get our epic mascara because sometimes you get mascara and everybody's lashes are gigantic and then we go to use ours and they're not. All right, 
So what I like to do is I get my mascara. I do not, you ever see, nobody ever told me that. Don't go to the base and roll it all the way up or your lashes are gonna be thick and nasty and you don't want thick, nasty lashes. Start just working your lashes like this. Watch, I'm not, I'm like an artist with my lashes. I paint the lashes up and then you can use it. Look at how I use my lashes to work for me. They, I press them right down on the brush so I get the product on it and they're not getting clumpy and nasty. So I'm I'm pressing, using my lash to, and then I just continue to work it up so my lashes look amazing. And that's all you have to do. You see how big your lashes get? If you take your time, just rub them. Watch this, okay? I'm letting my lashes really work for me because I'm pushing them down on the brush and it's getting a product on it and it's not driving them, you know what I mean? And it's not making them clumpy and nasty. And as I do that, they're getting bigger. I'm just blinking my lashes on the um, mascara rod. Now, did you see? I had a spot where I got mascara on my, on my eye. I do not go back in and immediately clean that off because if you do, it's gonna smudge and it's gonna ruin all your eyeshadow and everything. Never do that. Um, wait until it dries and then you can flick it right off with your concealer brush. Let's do our bottom. Just very lightly, very lightly. Not a lot of pressure. Now, this wig I'm wearing today, I'm telling you, I don't know if it's gonna look okay. Because like, you can put it up like a, um, what is that called? You can put it up like a ponytail, and I never wear wigs with ponytails, but I'm going to try it, and you guys let me know what you think, okay? It is so long. I like long wigs. You guys know I like long wigs. Let's try it and see where we're at, and I might have to do some brushing, and I do want to, I do kind of want to use my, um, I have a um, got to be glued spray that I want to try using on it, Okay. Here we go, because it's a lace front. It's different from my other one, so let's see. What do you guys think? Oh, it looks wild to me. I like it though. Okay, hold on. Because I can put it up and in a ponytail. I don't know if I'm gonna wanna do that. Right now I'm just playing with it. And let me scoot it, I wanna scoot it back some. Hold on. I have a special putting it in place and making sure it stays frozen like that and I'm wearing earrings today so let me put those on I want to wear these today This is pretty, isn't it? I have to do my, I have to finish my eyebrows. So let's do our eyebrows. Because they show with this wig, it kind of showcases my face. I want this to come just a little bit forward. Let me know what you guys think about the wig, okay? And I, you know I'm gonna take some pictures later and drop them in place, okay? So I'm going back, you know, I don't have a brow palette right now because uh, it's missing. My daughter took it, I know she took it, but it was fine. 
Um, so now we're going to finish up my eyebrows so they look perfect. And when you have a wig like this, it's important because it's so far off your face, then you see everything that I've done with my makeup. So you gotta be, make sure. So I'm taking this and I'm just rolling it in. See this cocky color right here? That's dark, dark brown. I'm rolling it in in there and I'm Okay. Now I'm rolling it again and coming over here and just drawing. And that one's high, so I gotta um, conceal it, okay? What do you guys think? This is my look for today. This is the finished, and I gotta figure out if I wanna put it up in a ponytail, because it does go up in a ponytail, which I don't think I want to. I like it better down. So, this is my look. Let me know what you think. I might go with a, make my, fill my lips in a little bit darker, because I'm used to them being darker, especially with this look. Let me know what products you need. Let me know how I can help you. Have a great day, I love you, bye.